Hi, welcome to Cube Conversations. I'm Stu Miniman, and joining me is Jeff Kelly here at the Wikibon Home Office in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Uh, deep in the heart of winter, Jeff, uh, to, I've been getting calls from people all over the country. Are you guys okay? And uh, the Wikibon office, we're still open. There's a lot of big snow banks, but uh, yeah, there's a, a few lot mountains going on. of snow out in, the, out in the parking lot. But so far, so good. Although I hear we're getting another storm this weekend. So. Yeah, and uh, Jeff, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be able to escape from some of the snow because we've True. got a big event, uh, big data. Silicon Valley SV uh, coming on next year. Is this the second year of SV or the third? That's a good question, Stu. I believe this is our second year doing okay. Big Data SV. Uh, we've also done Big Data NYC, kind of our, our two shows, our spring and our fall show, uh, focused on all things big data and analytics. Uh, so this is our second year doing SV out in, and this year actually in San Jose. Last year we were in Santa Clara, so we're at the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose, broadcasting for three days um, of the Cube, live interviews with practitioners, with vendors, with uh, VCs, uh, and other thought leaders in the big data space, so looking forward to it. All right, so, so Jeff, uh, this is your first time on theCUBE this year. Uh, why don't you bring us up to date? You know, what, what's, what's in your court? What's the research look like? And uh, what gets you, has you excited leading up to the show? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so uh, yeah, we were talking you know, before we went on. This is uh, my first time back on theCUBE in 2015, so good to be back. Uh, so you're yeah, working on a lot of different things. So uh, you know, related specifically to the show coming up next week in San Jose, uh, that's February 18th to the 20th, just uh, for people watching. Uh, you know, we're, we're focused on a few different themes at the show. Uh, one of the themes uh, is follow the, follow the money, follow the big data money. Where's the funding going? Where's some of the acquisitions? Where are those happening in the big data space right now? You know, we all know that the Hadoop vendors are very well capitalized. Um, most of the NoSQL vendors, the, the leading NoSQL vendors likewise are pretty well capitalized at this point. Uh, so we're interested in seeing where else is there activity and innovation happening? Um, and where is some of that funding flowing to? All right, Jeff, g give us a little preview. You know, in, I, I know in the spaces I cover, it's always great when you hear uh, some, some of the new companies come out of Stealth where they've got you know, their angel funding, their first A or B round funding. Um, there, there's been a lot of acquisitions. We just, a uh, recent one uh, was uh, Pentaho was uh, acquired by, mm -hmm. by HDS. Um, you know, where, where, where are the real hot spaces or you know, is, it, is it all over the place these days? Well, I think we're seeing, from an acquisition standpoint, we're definitely seeing uh, activity happening in the business intelligence and, and visualization space. Um, so the, you know, the BI space is not uh, new. It's not necessarily quote unquote big data, but it's, you know, it plays an important role uh, in the big data pipeline, if you will. It's, it's at that kind of the end of the pipeline where you're visualizing all these insights you've created um, using technologies like Hadoop and machine learning and whatever the case might be. Um, so what we're seeing is a, a few acquisitions happening where some of these smaller open source based uh, business intelligence companies are getting scooped up by some of the larger vendors. So uh, we saw Microsoft acquire Revolution Analytics, uh, which is more of a data science, data mining play. Uh, that happened earlier this month and then just recently, just yesterday as a matter of fact, uh, announcement from Hitachi Data uh, that they are going to acquire uh, Pentaho, which is another uh, open source business intelligence and data integration company. Uh, so you know we're seeing yeah, some acquisitions Jeff, happening there. You, you wrote a really good article about the Revolution Analytics acquisition. C can you give us you know give us the the nickel tour of Pentaho? Um, I, I know people in the storage world. I mean HDS is you know w one of the top players in storage. Uh, you know we we know that the analytics market in, in uh, you know BI space uses a lot of data. Mm -hmm. But w what's what's the fit? Well, what's happening here I think, and this fits very much with what we we're going to talk about next week at Big Data SV is that uh, you know there's been th the focus on the big data space up to now has largely been on the infrastructure and somewhat what I would call maybe infrastructure software, which is what I would, which w is where I would put something like Hadoop in that bucket. Um, but the question then of course is, sure, sure you want to store all this data that's being created, which you know, HDS has a role there with the infrastructure. Um, you need to crunch it, you need to process it, that's where Hadoop comes into play, but ultimately you need to do something with all that data, analyze it, uh, visualize it, so you can actually find some insights and take some actions. Uh, so what we're seeing I think is some of the infrastructure plays starting to make acquisitions uh, further up the stack in the BI space to try to create more of a complete, um, if not quite end-to-end -end big data solution portfolio closer to it. So with the HDS and Pentaho deal, 
they were our, HDS was already uh, an OEM partner of Pentaho or vice versa. Um, so you know they were already tying Pentaho software to the HDS infrastructure. Um, now with the acquisition, they're going to be able to do that even tighter uh, and offer clients kind of a one-stop shop for both the infrastructure layer as well as the data integration and the business intelligence layer. All right, Jeff. Uh, yesterday you had uh, as a preview of what's going to happen next week. You were doing a crowd chat. Uh, for those that don't know, crowd chat is an online social engagement tool. Um, it really, uh, in, in my viewpoint takes tweet chats and makes them really useful. You don't have to be a Twitter user, it's LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. It's a conversation that happens in real time, and afterwards, it, it's a get asset that people can you know, link to, you can embed it, you can do a lot with it. Um, mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about you know, what, what you saw. I mean, it was really robust yeah. uh, you know, conversation with lots of threads from uh, lot, lots of environments. It was, a, it was a great crowd chat, if I do say so myself. Um, so, we went into it. Uh, the, the topic, essentially, was what we were just kind of talking about in, our last, uh, in the last question you asked around, you know, where's the activity happening, where's the innovation happening, kind of beyond Hadoop and NoSQL in the big data space. Uh, talked a lot about the acquisitions that we're seeing in the BI space. We talked uh, a lot about what's happening in the cloud space as well. You're seeing uh, cloud-based big data services start to uh, become a little bit more popular. I think you're seeing that in part because a lot of the early adopters of, of technologies like Hadoop are struggling to kind of move from these proof of concepts into larger scale uh, production deployments. Part of that is, you know, how do you actually scale this thing out from a infrastructure perspective, from a manpower perspective, and cloud plays a role there. Um, but it was a really lively conversation, talking a little bit about as well uh, the challenges, but also the opportunity that some of the mega vendors face in this space. Um, you know, companies like uh, Teradata, for example, uh, you know, which is synonymous with data warehousing. You know, but they're making a play. You know, they made a number of acquisitions in the Hadoop space. Um, and to Teradata's credit, they, they I think they understand that you know the times are changing and that they're going to have to maybe move up the value chain in terms of how they monetize uh, their products and services. Um, so it was a pretty interesting conversation about the the different trends happening there. Um, and it was yeah, it was great to have so much uh, participation from we you know we had vendors, we had uh, data scientists, we had a whole whole uh, number of types of people that joined the conversation. It was great, and you can check it out. Uh, you know, it lives perpetually on CrowdChat.net. You can go back and kind of walk through the conversation. Uh, yeah, and that, that was on the one. Big Data SV hashtag, correct? Uh, correct, Big Data SV okay. uh, was the hashtag. So wa walk us through now uh, the the Big Data SV show. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, mm -hmm. What can people actually participate in? Well, so a few different elements to what we're doing next week. So we've got the, the Cube, which I think everybody knows and loves. We're going to be doing three days of broadcasting starting Wednesday, February 18th. We're going to broadcast all day uh, February 18th, 19th, and 20th. Uh, and that's, uh, we're going to be broadcasting live from the Fairmont San Jose uh, Hotel. Uh, you're going to see on that program, you're going to see, uh, obviously you're going to see some vendors. You're going to see also some practitioners. We've got the chief data scientist from Halliburton coming on to talk about what they're doing with big data and Hadoop. Uh, we're going to have uh, a data scientist from... Halliburton knows everything that we're doing everywhere, right? I, well, well, I'll find out. I will ask him that question. Um, we're going to have a data scientist from Simply Hired, uh, which is a, a career site, which uh, just is ingesting massive amounts of data um, around people's uh, you know, job searches, their, their uh, resumes, things like that. Uh, so we'll talk to some practitioners, we'll talk to some vendors. Uh, in addition to the broadcast, we're also doing uh, an in-person live event. It'll also be simulcast on, on, on the Cube, so you can watch it if you're not there in person. But if you are there in person, uh, I encourage you to join us at the Fairmont San Jose. And this is happening Wednesday night, February 18th. Um, we're going to kick off the, the event. I'm going to be presenting uh, around this topic we've been talking about. Where's the innovation happening in big data, kind of beyond Hadoop and NoSQL? What are some of the other interesting areas? We'll talk a little bit about that during my presentation. Uh, following that, uh, John Furrier uh, from Silicon Angle is going to host a venture capitalist panel. So we're going to have three uh, big data venture capitalists uh, talking about, again, same topic, where they're seeing the innovation, uh, where they're placing their bets uh, in the big data space. And then following that, everybody's most exciting night of the year, the Cube Party at Big Data SV takes place after that. Um, yeah, er everybody loves the Cube Party. Yes, I, I, I've been getting notes, everybody's asking, you know, who's, who's going to be there and, and what's going on. It's I mean, we've got hundreds of registrants already, so yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. fun. We've got hundreds of registrants. It's going to be a, a, a good party. It's going to be a lot of fun that night. Um, you know, we're going to be making some announcements around what we're doing here at Wikibon uh, and Silicon Angle and the Cube uh, around some of our new web properties and some other things. So you'll, you'll get an update on kind of what we're doing if you're able to attend. Uh, but it should be a fun night. Looking forward to it.
and looking forward to getting out of the snow here in Boston. Yeah, Jeff, I, I mean, you know, as uh, you know, some people have looked, we've done a soft launch of uh, some of what's gone on, people that follow the Cube. Um, just the, the, the quick update, the, the company is actually SiliconANGLE Media, and we've got three primary brands. There's Wikibon, analysts like Jeff, myself, David Floyer, Dave Vellante, uh, the Cube, which is our live broadcast, which we all participate in, SiliconANGLE, the media side. So uh, we'll actually be unveiling all the new websites. Uh, we've already been, uh, you know, priming the, the research side with some of uh, some of our content there, and it's just uh, premium.wikibon.com. Uh, always going to have you know you know the vast majority of our content is going to be out there for all to be able to read and comment and give feedback mm -hmm. on. Uh, you know, want to stay you know true to our open source ethos uh, that Wikibon was founded on, uh, and we're going to have uh, so some premium content on there, which uh, you know in Jeff's presentation he's going to give you know give some peeks into some of what's going on there. So uh, it's been exciting times here at the office. Uh, I know Dave. And John will be unveiling uh, so some new things we're going to be offering here in, in 2015, uh, and we've got a full complement of the team going out there. Absolutely, it's going to be a fun time. All right, uh, Jeff. I, I think the last thing I want to uh, just wrap up on is you know 2015. Now, uh, you know you've been covering you know the, the, the BI and the analytics space for many years. You've been all over big data. We call you our senator of big data uh, he, here at the Wikibon office. Uh, you know, as, as you look at the space and kind of sit back for a, uh, for a second, you know, what, what's the what are the hot items on your plate for 2015? Uh, you know, what do we have to look forward to? Well, I think for me. It all boils down to what are practitioners able to gain from all this new technology that's being uh, created, all the innovation that's taking place. Um, you know, Hadoop, NoSQL are kind of the poster child technologies, but there's also you know a lot of other technologies uh, associated with quote unquote big data. Uh, so for me, in 2015, uh, and this isn't necessarily different from 2014, but I'm interested to see how the story progresses. Is how practitioners are actually taking advantage of this. How are they actually adopting this technology? Um, what are the barriers they're running into in terms of making, making a go of it? What does it actually look like on the ground? I mean, we talk a lot about these different components, and we talk about the big data stack, and you bring all the components together, but big data doesn't live in isolation, and we talked earlier, maybe we need to retire that term even, because it, it's got to live in your larger infrastructure, so I'm interested to see how people actually operationalize big data, bring it into their environments, integrate it with what they're already doing. Uh, you don't want to create kind of a silo, a big data silo where you're doing, you know, something totally separate and, and just uh, not connected to your larger organization. So um, to answer your question, I'm, I'm always interested to see what users are doing. How are they driving value? Uh, what are the challenges that they're running up against? Um, and how can we as an industry help move this forward so we're actually getting a lot of value out of big data and not just talking about um, you know, buzzwords or focus just on the, the technology and the components because ultimately the technology is just an enabler. It's all about what you do with it. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff, that, that's a great point. It really ties into the stuff I, I know I and uh, the, the rest of the, the team that work on cloud and infrastructure is uh, the big data and analytics is, is a primary use case hmm. of a lot of the new architectures that are going out there. Uh, we've been looking at how Flash has been really changing infrastructure in, in cloud uh, for, from a consumption models. So in the surveys that you did a big survey at the end of uh, in last year, I did a survey on infrastructure as a service uh, you know, end of last year that, that's going out this quarter, and looking at uh, you know how the interaction is between cloud, big data, and infrastructure, and, and that that's really the primary focus of what we've been doing here at Wikibon is uh, you know those disruptive technologies and, and the intersections between those areas. So lots of good stuff. Uh, Jeff, want to give you uh, the, the last word? Uh, you know, uh, the show, what you're working on, and uh, you know how do we want to close it? Right. I would just encourage everybody to uh, you know if you're there uh, in San Jose next week to join us in person if you can. If not, you know obviously you can always watch us live on the Cube. Um, and you know, look for us uh, from a big data perspective in terms of the re upcoming research. You'll see shortly after the show, we'll be publishing our uh, annual big data market forecast and vendor revenue uh, report where we break down all the different vendors, uh, what they're actually doing. We actually bring a new account. What, what, what revenue are they actually driving from these new technologies? Uh, and, and we also provide a good deal of qualitative analysis in that report as well of some of the uber trends that we're seeing in this market. Um, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming towards the end of the month. Um, and then following that, you mentioned surveys. Uh, your survey is now out uh, and available to Wikibon clients, uh, and then we'll be embarking upon our annual big data adoption survey um, starting around uh, in March. We'll kind of start that process and look to publish uh, later in the spring. 
So keep an eye out for those uh, All right. those two items. Great. So, uh, you know, to just leaving it on that, uh, you know, we always welcome the feedback from the community. Our, our Twitter handles have been up on the screen. I'm Stu. He's uh, Jeffrey F. Kelly. Uh, at Wikibon is uh, the, the Wikibon handle. We've got the cube and silicon angle as, as part of, uh, you know, our, our family of solutions out there. Always feel free to reach out to us. Uh, love to hear feedback and, uh, you know, what other content you want us uh, to, to look into deeper as well as uh, what events we should be at. We've got, uh, you know, the, the new websites to look out for, premium.wikibon.com, uh, siliconangle.com, and more. Uh, I've got a list of all the events we'll be at, uh, lots of big data shows, cloud shows, infrastructure shows, uh, and uh, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, this is Stu Miniman with Jeff Kelly. Uh, we will talk to you next time.